welcome back to my channel. Um, so, if you can't tell, this is going to be a vlog. I'm hoping to make this sort of like a weekly upload. Um, but yeah. So, in this vlog, I'm going to take you through my week. Most people wouldn't consider it a busy week, but I've got quite a busy week this week for me. If you haven't been following my stories on Instagram, um, I'm currently going through some things with my health. Um, things that I've been going through for years now, but it's only just got really bad in the last year or so. So, yeah, I've got quite a lot to do this week. So I thought I would... So I thought I would bring you guys with me. I also want to use these vlogs as a way to get my thoughts and feelings and experiences out there. Just because, just because when I first started not being able to work and being too ill and whatever, um, I felt like I was alone and I would hate for anyone else to feel that way. Since then, I've come across quite a few people that are going through similar things to what I am. Um, and it's been very helpful sort of hearing their experiences. So, yeah, that's why I want to do these vlogs every week. Um, but, yeah, this week specifically is going to be hard. So, I wanted to document that I guess. Anyway, it is currently, um, what time is it? I know it's quite late in the morning. Yeah, it's half past ten. Um, I've been up for a while. I'm still in my pyjamas. Um, this isn't a pyjama top, this is just the top I wore to bed. Um, but yeah, it's currently 10.30 and I'm just getting started, really. So, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, so I just realised that some of you might not know, um, what I mean by, what I mean when I say that I'm going through a lot with my health. So I just wanted to briefly, very briefly explain what's happening. So yeah, um, in August of this year I was diagnosed with two things. Uh, first one being Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is a connective tissue disorder. Um, I'll leave a link below that sort of explains what all that means. And the second thing which is caused by the Ellos danlos Syndrome is POTS. Um, that stands for Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. Um, so I've been sick and unable to work because of the POTS for the most part since the beginning of June. Um, I've had it for much longer than that. It's just that this year is where it got really bad. Um, in the beginning of June was um, not stressful, but you know we we had a lot going on. We were moving house, so we think that's why everything sort of manifested as bad as it did in June, um, which resulted in me not being able to work anymore. Um, I have tried going back to work since then, but it's been unsuccessful and I've been in and out of hospital all this year because of the POTS and the other things that are caused by my Ellers danlos Syndrome, EDS um, for short. Um, so yeah, just under two weeks ago I was in hospital for my POTS, I caught a cold, um, my heart rate was ridiculous when I was laying down, it was about 100 and 40 to 160 um, at any point, given point in time, and I was feeling really awful. Um, I had what's called an autonomic 
meltdown so my system just went absolutely haywire so yeah I was admitted to hospital for fluids um, to help boost my body's ability to withstand being upright whilst I had the cold um, I was discharged after a day um, I stayed in overnight and then I was discharged the following afternoon because basically they don't know what to do with people with POTS and the only reason they knew to do that was because I told my GP that's what I needed um, based on the advice from my specialist um, who was uncontactable at the time anyway so yeah I was in hospital I was discharged and I was put on strict rest um, until I recovered from the cold. The cold is gone for the most part, I just get a little bit sniffly, um, but it's not really, you know, it doesn't really feel like I have a cold, it just feels like the weather. Um, but yeah, I haven't really recovered since then. I'm still finding it very difficult to walk or get around anywhere, hence why I'm stopped halfway down the stairs. Um, I had to stop on my way up the stairs twice and then I had to get changed to sitting down because I can't stand for more than about two minutes at the moment. I can't walk very far um, which is why this week is going to be so difficult for me <laughs> but yeah I just felt like I needed to explain that a little bit more so that you guys had some kind of context as to why I want to vlog and document what's going on in my life at the moment. Anyway, I just realised I haven't explained what POTS is really. So POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, is a dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system. So what that means is all the things that you don't think about, all the things that happen automatically, in your body f can go wrong in my body so things like you breathing heart rate um swallowing eating digesting just all sorts of things like that can just go wrong and um, so as you can imagine it causes quite a lot of problems just in my day-to-day -day. for example when i stand up my heart rate increases so much that it makes me breathless and I get dizzy and I can faint sometimes as well. That's just one of the very common things that happens. There's lots and lots of other things that this causes for me, um, which is why I haven't been able to work. But yeah, I'll leave some links down below to some websites that will sort of explain a bit more. And you can also check out my um, Instagram posts from October where I've gone into detail about dysautonomia and POTS um, because October was Dys Dysautonomia Awareness Month which is what POTS is. POTS is a form of dysautonomia. Anyway, now that that's out of the way because I don't want to ramble on too much, um, I'm going to go and drink my one cup of coffee for the day and I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> So I just got off the phone with my doctor, um, basically it was like a review because my uh, fit sick note ran out yesterday, so it was a review to see whether I'm fit to go back to work. Um, I have a meeting at work tomorrow as well, which I'm not really sure how I'm going to get there or how that's going to go, but anyway. Just got off home, get, just got off the phone with my doctor and my doctor has decided that I'm not fit to go back to work, funnily enough, but that's just because I'm still not really recovered enough. Like, I am sat here on my sofa, but well, I was sat just there and getting up to go to that door there and then back to the sofa had me um, in a bit of a state. Um, and that's how it's been for me the past couple of weeks. Mm. 
most of the last three weeks to be honest um i'm still the same i've just started some new medication to take along with the stuff that i already currently take so hopefully that will continue to you know make things a little bit better for me um i'm hoping to actually be able to you know walk around the house <laughs> at the very least um but yeah so it's not really news like i knew that i wasn't gonna be well enough to go wow um so i i don't know if that cliff even saved or what have you basically i just got off the phone with my doctors my doctors haven't signed me as fit for work they've signed me as not fit um, which I was explaining really isn't that much of a surprise with the way I'm feeling at the moment. I'm definitely feeling in sort of like my worst day to day. Um, but yeah, so that happened. And then midway through explaining all of that to you guys, my boss called me for an update because I've got a meeting at work tomorrow. That meeting was postponed to tomorrow because I was in hospital. Um, so I just had a chat with my boss and said, look, I'm still not fit for work. I'm still not doing very well. And she has said that they are going to postpone my meeting again to give me a little bit more time to get fit enough to be able to walk from the reception to the meeting room for um, my meeting. So I suppose that's good, but it's so frustrating because I don't want to cry because it's it's not really worth crying about but it's very frustrating because I just want to be able to do things. I just want to be able to get up and walk up and down the stairs without feeling like crap and I just want to, sorry, I want to be able to leave my house and go into my work which is only a five ten minute walk down the road i want to be able to do that at the very least and then be able to walk to the meeting room be able to walk to my desk be able to sit at my desk at work like i just want to do normal everyday things and at the moment it's just not something that i can do and it's very frustrating and exhausting and upsetting is the only way that I can put it and I don't want these vlogs to be all what was me and all me crying all the time because that's I don't cry all the time it's just when things are just so fresh and like the only way I can put it is it's when they're so frustrating like I can't help it but cry and that's what these vlogs are for these vlogs are for me to be real with people and not be hiding behind makeup pictures on Instagram and behind just saying I'm fine because at the end of the day I'm I'm not fine I'm I'm not very well and we don't know how long it's going to be before I get well and what's going to make me better because it's just there's no answer for it like that it, and the other side of it is, I will never be 100%, I'll, you know, yeah, I might get better and be able to do everyday things and be okay, but I'll still have these things happen to me because that's just the way my body works and no medication is going to put a complete stop on it. Anyway, I don't mean to be all doom and gloom, um, but yeah, that's my piece for today um on a positive note i have been doing something that's probably a bit nerdy um and probably makes me seem like a bit of a granny but it's been keeping me busy um and that is i've knit a sweater <laughs> for my mum's dog um she has two chalkies one of them's tiny and one of them is slightly bigger, about the same size as my chalky. Um, so yeah, I've knit the smaller one a Christmas jumper. Um, I'm still finishing it off. There's like a little 
frill bit that I'm oh, it's all twisted up but this is going to go on the bottom as well so there's a couple more frills but anyway that's what I've been doing today um so yeah that's one positive and I've got changed as well which believe me doesn't happen every day um and my other task for the day this is what I'm trying to do I'm trying to set myself tasks for the day so my other task for today is to put some washing in the washing machine and put some washing in the tumble dryer so that's that and my boyfriend has set me a task as well um to eat a donut because I've been having problems with eating recently um basically I get nauseous all the time um and then when I eat it gets worse and I feel really sick and then I get really bad um stomach pain and we think that's because um partly because of the pots stuff and partly from Ella's down loss we think that I might have some delayed emptying um which means that, like I'm not digesting food quick enough anyway so my boyfriend wants me to eat a donut because he bought some donuts yesterday um so yeah he wants me to eat a donut so hopefully I'll be able to eat the whole thing I did eat quite a lot last night for tea um I went out for tea with my mom and my cousins so yeah I'm not feeling the greatest in the stomach department but hopefully I'll be able to eat a donut as well um I'll let you guys know how that progress goes looking at these clips I think I'm probably going to just do daily uploads rather than weekly uploads because a weekly one will be way 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 too long and I don't think anybody will want to watch like a half an hour long video of my week it'll probably be too confusing so yeah I don't have my meeting tomorrow anymore so this week is now not as difficult as it was going to be and I think I'm going to bring my mum and let her know because she was going to try and arrange for getting me to my meeting tomorrow evening so yeah hi guys um so I did manage to do the washing and I have finished my donut, yay! Um, what time is it? It's now... Oops. It's now um, quarter to five in the evening. Um, I've got a hot water bottle just because I'm not feeling too great. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here, just because there's not going to be really all that much going on. I mean, the only thing I'm doing is knitting this still. Um, I took quite a long break earlier. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I'm doing for the rest of the evening. I don't really think I have any plans tomorrow, um, but I'll probably vlog anyway. Just because I want to keep in the routine. But yeah, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you would like to see more vlogs of just my day to day, obviously it will be more interesting when I'm actually doing something, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little insight <laughs> into my average Monday, I guess, and I will see you all, uh, tomorrow. Bye.